Hey everyone, this is Jamie. Welcome to the second video for Chapter 4 in Research Methods, uh, Descriptive Data Mining. And a big part of descriptive data mining is trying to figure out which people are similar, right? It might be customers, which groups of customers have similar needs and we can show them the same advertising campaign, um, or which voters are likely to vote for a given candidate based on how they feel about specific issues, right? We're trying to cluster people together based on similarities. This data set that I'm looking at here is actually the same one we just looked at at Z-scores. All the values are the same. The only thing I've done is I've taken out the formula, so I just have values here, and I've made a, and I've hidden most of the rows because I want to just focus on comparing observation one and observation two and making a connection between data in a typical looking data set and a formula that the book gives us to measure Euclidean distance. So the Euclidean distance, lowercase d, between two observations, u and v, observation one here I'm gonna call u and observation two I'm gonna call v, is equal to the square root of a sum of a bunch of squared differences, where in each parentheses is the difference between u and v with respect to a given variable. So I put this number here. Age, the standardized version, is my variable one. And so the distance here between u and v squared, I'm gonna just enter that right away, and it's gonna be this part of that picture. So I place a parentheses and then I say it's u1 because observation 1 is u and age is my variable 1 so this 0.16 is u1 minus v1 which is variable 1 for observation 2. I close the parentheses and then I use the caret which is shift 6 and the number two. And that squares the difference in ages between observation one and observation two. Let me make sure in this entire row that I have a few decimal places. You can adjust it with these two numbers or you can use the drop down menu just to make sure you're in number. So my second variable here difference in the second variable squared corresponds to this part of the expression. The difference between variable 2, which is income, between person u and person v. So here I would say again with my parentheses that it's u2, which is income for person number 1, which is observation u, minus the income difference, the standardized income measure for the second person, person v, caret squared, and that is now this part of the expression. Here it uses summation notation because I might have 25 variables or 108 or 7. I've got only 3, so uq, q refers to the number of variables in total, so here q is 3, I've got 3 variables. My third variable is that standardized z-score for the number of children and I do the same thing use observation or use value minus v's value carotid squared and that difference squared is 3.43 so what's the Euclidean distance then? The Euclidean distance is the square root of all of these things added up. You can do it in one step or two. If you want to do it in one step, you could start, well, one step, I'm going to show you one step. You can do it in two steps if you want to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the square root command. So I want the square root of the sum of all those things. And that's my Euclidean distance, 2.15. The Euclidean distance between observation 1 and 2 
is 2.15. There we go, that's what it takes. Another way you can do this is by first summing these together. I could calculate the sum and then I could calculate the Euclidean distance. So sometimes it's easier to sum them up and then take the square root of that sum. If you do that in two steps, sometimes it feels a little bit more manageable. But you get the same answer either way. All right, so you're going to have to calculate the Euclidean distance a couple different times in the homework, and I hope this helps. Sometimes you'll see the variables lined up vertically, um, but either way it's the same process. Uh, holler if you have any questions.